All right, folks, Dan Chi here, episode seven, limitation series. In the last episode, we drafted a billion players. So let's see if we can sort them all out, shall we? Let's go to the resign phase. Um, a little uh, kind of look behind the scenes here. In the in the last episode, which was six, when we did the draft, I said, "Oh, I'll, I'll try and get this next one done and uploaded and blah blah blah." Yeah, well, that's not didn't really happen because uh, one second, if you can hear this, that's my piece of paper again. I've had to take more notes. Uh, I've taken more notes on this than I have uh, my exams, which is something. And I recorded this episode. Obviously, I haven't uploaded it, and it took me about an hour and forty-five minutes. And I, I didn't realize at the time how long I was taking. So then, it got to the end of the video, and I was like, oh. I've been doing this for an hour and 45 minutes, so that's not getting uploaded. So I took all my notes, and we're going to go from here. So let's start off. I do want to re-sign Matt Murray. He can be a starter. Uh, I've won a Stanley Cup before with an 86-rated goalie, so if you know if no goalies ever come up, that's fine. It, you know, It's not going to be an issue. Um, I've already taken... I'm not going to work out the 15% exact thing. I can't be bothered. But I've got so much money anyway, it's not like I'm really sort of managing the cap. You will hear rustling at different points during this video because I have to... 4 years, 4.480,000, that's 240, that's 7... 4.25, that should be enough. Um, I'm not managing the cap completely here, crazily, because there's, there's no point. I've also made a note of... Who else did I want to keep? Let's see, Percy and Corrado. Percy, want to keep him off a contract. Uh, these aren't expensive at all, so I can do... That's fine. I can knock these down. Yep, let's go for a one-way. Corrado off a contract. Two-way, that's fine. Let's go on to that. Okay. Back to my piece of paper. <laughs> uh, sunk Fist. Yeah, we are keeping Sunk Fist. God, that guy looks like he's a bit like a tank, doesn't he? Jesus. Oh, boy. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. I need some kind of clipboard or something. So I can just hold these up, all, hold this piece of paper up all the time and not have to worry about it. This is my resign list, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's okay, then. Okay. So I got to the end of the video. It's taken ages. And it's taken me so long. I've made loads of mistakes. I couldn't get it right. So... Initially, uh, what I did with the initial video, when I did the pre-scouting, I then came back and I tried to plan this out. And I tried to... What's the word? I just tried to get it right, basically. I didn't want to... Wow, I can go down to that. 75,000 words. Yeah, that's fine. I, I didn't want to then just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. I wanted to get it right. Pardon me while I pause for looking at these players. Gaunts. Yes, I re-signed Gaunts. Um, I'd, yeah. I didn't want to spend ages doing another video, basically. So, I wanted to just get it done. And get it done right. So, I decided to take all my notes. And we're up to here now. Did I sign Moss? Where did I have a Moss? Did I keep this guy up here? Is that a contract? Oh yeah, okay, maybe I did. Okay. What's... Uh, is it... That should... Six... No. 100,000. That should be fine. That should be good. Okay, and then I've also got a release list. Which is here. So, release. You see, now... Here's the trouble. Is that my writing is horrific. So now I can't... I can't quite read my writing. Okay, he's definitely on there. Tom Sestito. Parker, Porter, Jarrickson, Erickson, Rowney, Mikulik, Archibald. They went in day, they were re-signed, I know that much. How about that Caps game? Now what is interesting, it should, mm, the Sidney Crosby thing. Was that intentional? Was it not intentional? I'm seeing a lot either way. 
pretty pretty um what's the word pretty strong opinions either way and archibald was definitely in release pretty strong opinions either way that it was intentional or don't be stupid how you know you, that's definitely that's clearly not intentional oh, i'm not sure in my opinion in my opinion i think i think he's going i think he's already going down and i think niskanen's reaction is to shove him because he's kind of lost his foot and he's coming towards him so i think niskanen's just it's just instinctive like i'm just gonna shove this guy but then as he goes down he just ends up shoving him in the head which is really really unlucky obviously where is this guy so i mean i can see why they've not given i can see why they're not given any punishment i really can but you know pardon me in my opinion would it have made any you know does it make any difference because it's crosby that's the thing that's the that's the question if it's anybody else does it matter you, you know say only Mata does that to i don't know cousin nets off or something uh, you know is this conversation happening or not i don't know but i think you know because it's crosby i think there may be maybe a, a bit more is being made of it than would normally be okay there's so many players here let's just let's go back for now and see if we can just we'll just advance a couple of days get all the players to sign that need to sign okay go 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 okay was that everybody okay and then we'll come back double check this list again rust no cole no that's fine emery emery's being released right off into the sunset with your four 14 million dollars like um like Oli Jokinen did and enjoy it my friend Jeffrey okay Jeffrey is he on the release list or the keep list well I can't see him on that list so he must be on this list he isn't on either list that's great I thought I'd offered him a contract oh he did and he signed it so it's only a year okay Jeffrey unsigned Hmm. I'll keep him actually. He wasn't on my list, but I'm gonna keep him. Here's the thing: I don't. I'm uh, again. I'm. I probably want to tank this year. I'm not that fussed if I if I come bottom again, because at least then I can get. You know, I can I can get the picks again. Archibald, is that McNeil Porter? Oh Porter. Uh, uh Sorry, dude. Off you go. Who were yeah Wilson. Wilson, Wilson! No. McNeil, you were released. You were on the release list, yes? Yes. Who would have thought having so many draft picks would be so bad? <laughs> Certainly not me. Oh, God. I'm going to, I know I'm going to re-sign all the players who have got league potential. So they're all getting signed regardless. I mean, I, I'm not sure if, if the... I, it's the developing players thing. Like, I've one of my games, one of my other saves at the moment, I've got a franchise goalie. And I'm just like, I've got no idea how to develop him. Like, what what do I do to develop him into essentially Carey Price? You just, I don't know. Like, I think it's easy with... Well, is it easy with players? I don't know. I mean, that's the question. Is it easy with players? I've got no idea. Oh, yeah, definitely offer him a contract. Because you want to develop these players as best as possible. But then you're just thinking, well, how... If I just put them in the league now, like if I put Lilligren in, if I put Patrick in, if I put Hishaya and my goalie, and blah, 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 how, how much would they develop? Like even if they're losing every game, is it still a case of, well, at least they're developing, at least they're getting game time? You know, like does that make a difference? Because you're then playing in the NHL, does that mean you're going to develop better? I mean, I don't know. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Okay, let's hope all these people sign. Yay, they did. Okay. What we can do now is, now we can go to this bit. Because now there shouldn't be as many left. Uh, main 
master or skaters. Yep. Okay. Was Rev? Yes, you're going to get a contract because you are a proper player. 72. Seven. Yep, that's good. Okay, thank you. Stadler. Yep. Oh, look at him. Gonna rub his cheeks. And McFadden, no, that's fine. Oh, and then there's only these guys left. Oh, Wasowski. He was definitely on one of my lists. Yeah, he's released. Release. Uh, Wilson. Did I keep Wilson or did he go? I think I kept him. But I can't see him on there. Did I have a, I think I had a trade list as well. Kreski and Sherbank. Are they there? Oh, maybe not. Oh man, I don't know. <sighs> How many contracts have I got? 40. Okay. Let's offer him a year. If he takes a year, then it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, let's just do that. And hopefully there'll be some decent free agents. But again, no. Do I do I take a free agent now that's going to make my team better? Or do I wait? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to do. Because again, I want to tank. So I don't want to take two absolutely amazing free agents and then I end up being like a mid like a mid level team. Like I'm yeah, like you know, like the tenth best record or even worse, like the thirteenth, fourteenth best record. Unless of course I could, you know Who was it? Was it the Flyers? Yeah, the Flyers who ended up like went from thirteenth to second or something. That's good. I like that. I love the chaos. I love the chaos of the draft lottery. It's way more exciting. I'm looking forward to Vegas. That's going to be interesting. Just <laughs> it'd be so it'd be so easy to wait for Vegas to win the cup because all you've got to do is the night before any game in Vegas, you just supply like free drugs and hookers to like <laughs> every single team that's there. Okay, let's look at these contracts. Now, there's going to be I think I think the rest of these players are players who haven't got contracts were the players I drafted yes yes they were uh, what I will do is I'll go to the trades and look at their trade value and then I'll probably sign two or three of those ones um, yeah because I'm done with that okay same to free agency oh that was so much easier than last time than like spending an hour and 45 minutes wherever it was doing it Okay, what I'll do is I'll quickly look at my uh, trade value of those players I've not signed and see how good they are. Oh, I'm only $40 million under the cap this time. That's sad. It's like even Patrick and Lilligren, you know, that's not great. But, you know, what can you do? But they also McLean are actually better than some of the players. That's interesting. Hmm, do I sign these? Hmm, do I sign them or do I let them? What I have to do is I'll have to look at the lines and see how things look. I mean, some of these guys can definitely go. I mean, I've even got, I've even got an NHL team. That's going to be an interesting thing to look at at some point. But I like this young team. I like this young team. Top four, top four, elite, elite, top four, top four. I mean, I've got an abundance of defensemen. I've got a top six, another top six. That's good, that's good. I mean, I get... Hmm, I mean, I've got a few years on these guys. It can always... Yeah. I think I might... Yes. I, I can always hang on to them, not sign them. How many draft picks have I got this year? And then I can just start bundling players together. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. That is good. One, two, three, four, five. And then... Wow, six thirds, fourths, three fifths. I probably got the same amount as last year, around about the same amount. And again, if I can maybe towards the middle of the season, if I can trade up into the first again, hopefully to a team that isn't going to be in there. Because second, who, who I can't remember who comes in in the second season either. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, we've done that. In the next video, what we'll do is. Well, let's quickly look at free agents. Let's quickly look at free agents now and see who's on there.
because if there's nobody on there, it's not worth me doing anything. 28.33. Alsner. Do I want Alsner? Uh, no. Drew Stafford. 31. 29. 26. Who's that? Suster. Maybe worth a look. Look, he's on two way. Wow. Wow, that's normally a lot better than that. I'm surprised. See, I might even need to. I might even not even need to bother signing anyone this year. Heda. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anybody worth signing on anything this year. Wow, 42. Holy moly. Has he got a picture? Wow, he looks 42. Dude. 42. That's amazing. God, I can barely tie my shoes in the morning. This guy's playing like in the NHL in the AH, AHL at 42. Okay. I don't think any, I don't think it's worth signing any free agents. I think we try and tank this season as well. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's nobody worth getting. So right, next video, we'll look at trades. Any way we can trade anything around. We don't want any of the players we don't want. Just maybe get rid of them, get a couple more picks, and then we'll do the season. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay guys, take it easy. Bye.